The primary defense of a submarine lies in its ability to remain concealed in the depths of ocean. This raises the question that how deep can submarines dive into the water and what happens if they go too deep? A submarine's endurance to water pressure mainly depends on the materials used to build the submarine and the hull capacity. A submarine's hull has two major components, the light hull and the pressure hull. The light hull of a submarine is the outer non-watertight hull which provides a hydrodynamically efficient shape. The light hull is usually made of thin steel plate as it has the same pressure on both sides. Inside the outer hull there is a strong hull or pressure hull which withstands the outside pressure and has the normal atmospheric pressure inside. The pressure hull is generally constructed of thick high strength steel. The accurate information of submarine's endurance to ocean pressure is generally classified. However, there is some open source information about design, test and maximum operational depth of different types of submarines. The design depth of a submarine is the nominal depth listed in the submarine's specifications. Since the designers incorporate a margin of safety in their calculations, the crush depth of an actual vessel should be slightly deeper than its design depth. The test depth is the maximum depth at which a submarine is permitted to operate under normal peacetime circumstances. The test depth of most submarines usually ranges from 300 to 500 meters. The maximum operating depth popularly called the never exceed depth is the maximum depth at which the submarine is allowed to operate under battle conditions. The crush depth is the depth at which the submarine's hull will collapse due to pressure. These limits can be worked out theoretically but unless there is an accident, you will never know what the exact crush depth will be. The age of the submarine's hull and how much the sub exceeded its max depth are other factors that affect the submarine's endurance. A submarine's hull life is estimated by submergence cycles. Each time a sub submerges and goes deep, it shortens its hull life. It then becomes a matter of being economical to keep the sub active. Submarines can go to the test depth frequently without any ill effects operationally. For military submarines, the test depth is classified. It's generally accepted that the maximum depth or crush depth is about 1.5 to 2 times deeper than the test depth. According to open source information, a US Los Angeles class submarine has a test depth of 450 meters, suggesting a maximum depth of 675 to 900 meters. This is a submarine with a pressure hull made up of HY-80 high tensile steel. The latest American submarines are said to be constructed of HY-100 steel, so they can certainly go deeper. The deepest diving large military style submarine was the Soviet submarine K-278 with a hull made of titanium, which is stronger but more brittle than steel. The K-278 was a nuclear-powered submarine specially designed to make trips as far down as 1300 meters below the sea level. A small submarine, the Bethys Cave Trieste, made it to 10916 meters below the sea level in the deepest point in the ocean, the Challenger Deep, in the Mariana Trench. This part of the ocean is almost 11,000 meters deep. So it seems that a submarine can make it as deep as it is theoretically possible to go. That's all for today's video, like and subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one.